The practice of gratitude is incompatible with negative emotions and may actually diminish or deter such feelings as anger, bitterness, or greed. In my life, I've had the blessing of having four different father figures. This is due to my mom having a lot of childhood trauma, and the trauma resulted in her having some trust issues, abandonment issues, and when things got difficult, it was easier for her to walk away. But she was always amazing in who she picked to be in our lives um, growing up, and that's where I've had the opportunity to have four amazing men that I can consider a father figure. My dad's my hero because he's always there for me. Because he lets me go bowling and he lets me practice baseball. My dad is special because he's a promise keeper. My dad is the best because he he took me camping before. He's really nice and he helps my mom make breakfast every single day. So that's why I love my dad. My biological father, I didn't really know him as my father for quite some point in time, but he was in my life a lot as a kid. And the thing that he taught me the most was sacrificial love. He took a step back and watched my adopted dad raise me. And he didn't question. He knew it was what was best for me in that moment. And he and I have since then formed a phenomenal relationship. And it's pretty powerful to watch how his sacrificial love has shown up in different ways. Our dad is a great role model for our family and shows us how to love others like Jesus. My dad taught me how to love others unconditionally and to dance. He loved to dance and he would dance with me at every wedding. I remember when my dad taught me how to ride a bike and uh, it never gave up on me no matter what. Without hesitation, my adopted dad uh, took care of my older brother and I and adopted us even as his own. And he loved us unconditionally until the day that he passed. And what's really powerful is I still get to look back and reflect on the ways that he showed up um, with unconditional love on a daily basis for us, even um, when I was an adult and would make phone calls to him. It was still that unconditional love that he demonstrated. So my father-in-law, this is a man in my life that's the Paul, my go-to guy. I love him. I love him. I call him dad. He's been dad in my life longer than my real dad was. My wife passed away, so that's been very, really hard for me. And so the people that have really been there for me, it's been, yeah, both my brothers and my dad. So when I was 10, my mom married my first stepdad, Ernie. And Ernie demonstrated the power of second chance love. He had made some choices early in his life that impacted how his own children were raised and their relationship. But he showed up for me in ways that he was unable to show up for his own children, but was able to also show them the love that he had later in life and just showed the power of second chances and how love still shows up um, even in broken spaces. My dad was very intentional about gauging our family in fun stuff. Kate wrote an essay when she was really little and she said that mom likes dad because he is ruggedly handsome. <laughs> my most recent stepdad, Harold, he had actually been in my life from the time that I was nine on but didn't become my stepdad until I was in college. And I think the powerful thing that he taught me about love was that community is valuable um, and that community love is key. So I remember one time when um, my dad was in a hospital and he was struggling to live, but but God pulled him through, and and I'm so glad that he's my dad and that um, that he's there for me. My favorite thing about my dad is that he's always trying to find ways to love our family better. So I just want to take a moment and say Happy Father's Day to my biological dad, my adopted dad, and the two stepdads that helped raise me. And I also wanna say Happy Father's Day to all those of you who are a father, are a father figure, or a mentor to those who need you. Thank you, and Happy Father's Day.